Now, according to Forbes, at the time of this recording, there are only 19 billionaires in the entire world who have made their fortune solely from Bitcoin. Yes, that's right, Bitcoin. And in this week's episode, I'm giving you an exclusive tour inside a Bitcoin billionaire's New York City penthouse loft. Now, I can't tell you exactly who lives here, just know that they're not exactly on the best terms with Mark Zuckerberg. The penthouse loft is located at 20 Green Street here in Lower Manhattan on one of the most desirable bougie blocks in all of Soho. The apartment has 4,300 square feet of interior living space, a rare 2,200 square feet of outdoor terraces with three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and it's currently on the market for just under $17 million. As always, I'd like to thank the listing agent, Steve Cohen, Owen at Douglas Elman for letting us tour this one-of-a-kind listing. More information about the listing can be found down below in the video description. And with that, let's jump into the tour. So welcome on into the apartment. Right off the front door, this is your entry area. I actually thought this was a mirror the first time I walked in, but this is just a little cut through area because I guess when you're a billionaire, you need a little greeting area. Right off here, we have the entry area, which has wine storage, floor to ceiling shelving here. This awesome fig. I believe this is, do you think this is real? I think this is real. And then the space opens up to your great room. This is prime Soho loft living and we'll break it down piece by piece. So here you have two, four, five windows facing west. So you have all that natural light coming in. If you look across the street, you can see all those cast iron facades of the buildings here in Soho. And this main feature here in this, what would be the dining room is this awesome solid piece of wood making up the dining room table and then broken off. So this is all one piece then. This is the base of a tree that makes a breakfast nook. And you can even look and see all the rings here. And I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can count how old this tree is. I love the rustic feeling in this apartment. Uh, Above this table, you have this beautiful hanging light fixture, really complicated that rustic feeling behind us. Actually, this is pretty sweet too. Look at this light fixture above here, jutting out this kind of antique light fixture coming over the breakfast table. There's a lot of, uh, because I mentioned kind of indirectly who owns this apartment, there's very specific and eclectic pieces throughout the whole space that I'll point out as we go on the tour. But right behind me here, we have your bar, open concept shelving here. This is where it gets really impressive. This is a 57 foot wall continuous with this built-in gas fireplace. This is the heart of the home. As you can see, there is so much room here in this apartment. This runs through the living space, which then transitions to this really unique music studio in this open concept loft. You have this executive desk and behind me, this is a Steinway & Sons grand piano. And it's interesting. So to get these things in here, you have two options. Number one, through the windows. So you can actually hire a crane to bring this up through a window into your loft. And in this case, this was actually carried up by hand and placed here in the loft. And it just, it, it sets the tone. The piano is the focal point here, the whole music studio. So you have the Steinway & Sons, you have the actual electric keyboard here. And then in the corner, this awesome hanging leather, almost like Men in Black, like you remember that scene? Hanging down from the staircase with the built-in LEDs here and all the albums displayed nicely under the staircase, just definitely sets the mood. Also below our feet, you have all these animal skins. Just very rustic, modern feeling in here. I love it. And this is so cool. This is a almost stainless steel. I, I want to say it's gunmetal, but a very just industrial table here in the center for your coffee table books. And I want to point this out just to show the scale of this place. So I'm going to extend out my, my wingspan. I think it's like six, seven. It's longer than I am tall. This is a large, large couch. This is a large room for entertaining. It's just a lot of open space. And I like how they broke it up so nicely. I think that could be a trick in lofts is really how to distinguish which space Space is what? So then right off of your kind of entertainment area, you have the open concept chef's kitchen, huge island front and center, polished stone with that waterfall edge. Below us on the floors, we were debating, we don't know the exact type of wood, but just based off the grain, we think it's either ash or white oak. So comment down below which one you think it is. But this kitchen is definitely something special. You can see the cabinetry behind me all open here with that glass. And that's kind of cool. So if you are here and there's a, an event or a party, you don't have to go rummaging through someone's cabinetry because it's all open and displayed with these glass cabinets. Again, running all the way up to the ceiling with these 12 foot high ceilings here in this loft. Uh, as far as the appliance suite, it's all Miele. So you have the commercial grade hood over top. And this is a beautiful, I mean, this is just, this is a workstation. This is the Insincorator sink. So this has the built-in food waste disposal all here, stainless steel. I even like how you have the stainless steel tiling here on the backsplash. Everything's just very, very nicely done. And here you actually have 
the door, which pockets in from the entryway. So you can shut this off if you wanted. And this is just a uh, frosted glass here with the steel frame right back in there. Here you have your oven, all that. And I wanna show you this because I feel like something that used to be a thing was cribs. You know, they open their fridge and see what everyone has in here. So here you have this built-in fridge unit with these ornate handles here with the brass. Uh, let's see what they have. We are stocked. Wow, okay, so you have some liquid death, cold brew, a lot of coffee and beer and some Coke, so there you have it. On the other side of your island, you have the breakfast bar, four stools, and I love the practicality how you have a workspace here in the kitchen. Because I don't know about you, but when I am working from home, I love to work in my kitchen. And here, you pull up the stool, workstation, TV built into the wall, right on. I mean, the styling in here, I have to say, uh, it's always interesting when you tour a home of someone who is notable, because it's like, oh, what's their house like? The, just. Look at this, this is, we're trying to figure out what this is. If you know, comment down below. There's Russian on here. It looks like a telephone at first glance, but then there's these ports on the side. So it looks like it might be a motor. Then built in seamlessly, you have a powder room with, you can't smell it, but the smell in here is one of the nicest scents I've ever come across in my whole life. And uh, yeah, I need to figure out what that is. But you have marble on the walls here, uh, trough sink, floating vanity, with this cool imprint here of a scene from times long ago. I just love the theme in here. The aesthetic is so nice. But leaving the powder room, we'll keep this shut for now. We have this awesome bookshelf here with that, again, rustic finish with the brass, all the books, and uh, another clue here of who lives here. I mean, if you haven't guessed by now, like, come on. Behind me here, this is an oversized barn door, which is quite hefty, which seals off a whole section of this loft. So come on in and check this out. Welcome to the den slash study area here in this penthouse. And this just has such an executive feeling here. You have another gas fireplace, TV recessed into the wall here, and this. These are, I believe, 1995 Mac computer chips here on display, and this just very unique art piece here. Now, right off the fireplace built into the entertainment center in this millwork, there's actually a hidden door behind this panel pushed open. Comment what you think is behind this door. We were told that we could not film in there, so let your imaginations run wild in the comment section. We'll keep this shut for now, but I'm just so curious. I wanna show you this though. So there's lacquer on this far wall here with a door which is flush into the lacquer which leads into a bedroom which is essentially a part of this den and it can be hidden off from the rest of the home by that big oversized barn door. But here's the first guest bedroom, bed front and center. You have this beautiful hardwood here, millwork running floor to ceiling. You have an office off to the corner here, flat screen front and center. Here's actually another clue, if you haven't got it by now, this is an ERG, it's a rowing machine. I actually used to row at Northeastern and we would race the university that the owners of this apartment went to. It's a much better school than Northeastern, I'll tell you that much. That's the final hint, but you have the rowing machine in here, kind of as display. And then you have an ensuite bathroom with uh, some beautiful smooth tiling here on the walls. The glass wraps around the entire bathroom all the way into the corner here in the shower. Very minimal, modern, and clean. Leaving the den bedroom area through this oversized barn door, we're gonna now head upstairs. And this staircase is beautiful. It's glass, it's steel, it's floating. And then you have this LED light going up the stairs. I wanna point out this, the walls are suede. I'm not gonna touch this with the front of my hand. I don't wanna get these dirty, but these are suede walls. The details in here are everywhere. But now let's make our way up to the second floor here. Now at the top of the staircase, this is where the remaining bedrooms are. And in front of me, this is the owner's wing of this apartment. And one of the things that really separates this loft from any other loft in Soho is the fact that here in the owner's bedroom, the wall opens up, it's floor to ceiling glass, and you have your very own private outdoor space facing west where you have views of the tops of all those famous cast iron buildings here in Soho. If you look uptown, you can see Hudson Yards, all the water towers in the neighborhood, even looking south, One World Trade Center. To have this in New York City is such a, a rare piece of real estate because it really brings that indoor outdoor living to New York City. So heading back inside, again, this is the owner's bedroom with this huge shag carpet, taking up most of the floor space here, bed front and center. I love this open concept shelving here. Just taking a look even at the 
the books that the owners are reading in this apartment, you can find out a lot about someone by what they read and especially someone who has reached a level of success. It's always interesting to see, okay, that's what they're reading. That's on their bookshelf. I always find that interesting. But off of the bed, you have this little sitting area here. I believe that is a TV, which is mirrored right now, uh, facing the bed, which could be fun. And then you have two closets on either side here. We just pop into one. So the first one, super minimal, automatic LED lights, which turn on when you walk in. And there's something fun in the other closet I want to point out. We have the Bitcoin billionaires high tops. Yeah, that's how you know you made it. Leaving the closet, you have the pocket door in the closet just for that privacy. The wallpaper in here, again, this is something where I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I know it's probably very expensive. So again, we'll throw in a close up comment below if you know what this is on the walls. Off of the bedroom space, you have your ensuite bathroom here, oversized pocket door, which leads into a very minimalistic bathroom here. Under our feet, we have tile, and then we have marble on all the walls here. Two vanities, you have the water closet behind here with that frosted glass just to keep it nice and discreet. And then behind me, walk-in oversized shower with the rainfall shower head, the handheld, another handheld, and then this cool LED light here built right into the marble. Very minimal. And then again, you have this whole wall here, which is glass, so you can get some light. Uh, actually, that's north, so you would get some bounce, but still to have light in the shower is pretty sweet. Out of the bathroom, back into the hallway, you have your staircase off my left here. In front of me, the hallway leads back. You have your laundry room off to the side here. You can throw in a B-roll shot to show you that. And off to my right, this is the third bedroom here in the apartment. Very decent size. You've got your Peloton, your weights there, king size bed ensuite bathroom at the very end here. The details in this bathroom are pretty phenomenal. You have this trough wet style sink here with travertine on the vanity and then even up the walls. And you have these little moments in the corners where you have LED lights inlaid here in to the travertine. Of course, the throne, shower right off the vanity. And then if we make our way back out, this here, you have this nice dark hardwood which could be mixed use for a closet, but also storing your TV, entertainment. Then back out into the main hallway. This is pretty rare in New York. So you have the Western facing terrace. Additionally, you have your Eastern facing terrace, which has not been finished yet. So this is totally open to be customized, but to have not one, but two terraces in Soho, that's very unique. And there's still more to see. So let's head back inside. And there's still one more floor here in this penthouse. I love just the, the grand nature of this penthouse. It's just very, uh, man, if I, if I had the $17 million, I would make an offer. But at the top, so we have a skylight letting in all that natural sunlight, even on a cloudy day. And at the very top, right off the staircase, we have your wet bar here. In front of me, you have your third terrace facing east. Behind me, this is the creme de la creme. This is the largest of your four terraces here. Again, it's unfinished, left totally open to be customized however you want it. Here is where you really feel like you are you're the king of Soho here. You're above most of the cast iron buildings here in the neighborhood. You have unobstructed views of Hudson Yard. You see the Empire State Building just peeking out there. You have One World Trade Center slivered right in between us. And of course, on a sunny day, you have the Hudson River behind us with all those sunsets. This is something special. And I'm like, it's, it's, here, come look at this. So I actually used to live, you can kind of see 33 and a half Green Street there. And I always used to look at this building and I'm like, man, I wonder what the penthouse looks like. So it's very cool for me to share this with you guys watching. Steve, I want to thank you for letting us tour this listing. It's one of a kind. If you are out there and you're looking to purchase this listing or you know someone who is in the market, all the information to buy is down below. Come see it. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.